Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you another program that you can use to 3D scan yourself and other objects at home using an Xbox Connect. This program is Reconstruct Me by a company called Profusion. And this is a uh, simple program that you can use for yourself for free or you can buy a license for commercial use and to remove some limitations, but I'll talk about those limitations in a bit. If you're using an Xbox 360 to scan yourself, first you need to plug the adapter into the wall, then you need to plug the connect into the USB adapter, and then finally plug the adapter into your computer. In order to scan myself, I'll be using a tripod, but first I have to remove the tape from last time. Now you can take your Xbox Connect and you can put it on the tripod and then using masking tape you can adhere it to the tripod. Once it is secured you can start scanning. The idea is to stand still start reconstruct me scanning and move the tripod around me and that will capture myself as a three-dimensional model. So I'm going to hit start on reconstruct me and you can see that it, it is taking the data from the Xbox Connect and creating a three-dimensional model with both the depth information as well as the color information. And as I rotate the Connect around me when it's taped to the tripod you can see that it is filling in all of the missing edges when I rotate to a new area. The green is the edges of the object that it has detected, um, and it will fill in the color information as well. You can also see the first limitation of using an unlicensed version. It will put a watermark while you scan, but that's not really a big issue, and it doesn't affect the final model at all. So it does take about a minute or so to get a decent scan of yourself, so I'm going to fast forward to the end result. So here's the final results in Reconstruct Me. And you can see that it did a really good job with scanning, even though I was just rotating the Kinect around me. Sure, there are a few issues, such as my shoulder being messed up, and my nose does look a little funky. But overall, Reconstruct Me did a great job with scanning a person, even when you're scanning yourself. And when you're finished reviewing the file, you can save it. And you can save it in many different file types. Uh, the PLY file type stores the color information and is what I would use for a colored scan. And then the STL file is what you would normally work with when trying to scan something for 3D printing. So I'm going to save it as an STL and let's view it right now. So here's the scan opened up in Mesh Mixer. And the first thing you notice are all these floating spheres and the branding down here. This is what Reconstruct Me does when you have an unlicensed version. When you go to export an STL, it'll put these this watermark and these sphere, spheres as sort of a way to say, hey, this is used for a free version. Usually they don't make uh, too big of an issue about it. You can just open it up in Mesh Mixer and cut out all of these spheres. It really doesn't take too long. So let's zoom in on the actual model. You can see here that while it did a decent scan, um, and there is that hiccup with the back of my head where I couldn't quite reach, um, overall it looks pretty decent. There's not too many issues. Uh, you can see that it did capture like the folds in my clothes. But one thing else you will notice is that it is very coarse. Even if you zoom up to the face, you can see each of the individual faces, especially up here and then around the nose. You can see that there's some uh, polygonal kind of pixelation happening with the scan. Overall though, it's not too bad. The mistakes from me uh, holding the scanner myself, such as here in the shoulder, all of that can be easily fixed. And same with the uh, spheres put in by the non-licensed version, those can all easily be removed. So for scanning a person, Reconstruct Me does a pretty decent job with it. I would uh, fire it up and see if it does what you need it to do. 
Reconstruct Me can also scan larger objects, such as rooms. So I'm going to set the volume to the max size of 4 meters by 4 meters, and let's see how Reconstruct Me deals with scanning an entire room. And here's the result of scanning the room. As you can see, one of the things Reconstruct Me does amazing is the quality of the image itself. The colors look almost picturesque. It does an amazing job doing that. However, as a 3D printer, I'm not too worried about color. I'm worried more about how the mesh looks. So let's export it as an STL and open it up in Mesh Mixer. And here's the scan of the room. You can see once again that there's the water mark the brand of Reconstruct Me, and all of these spheres floating around. However, unlike the uh, self-scan that I showed earlier, these spheres actually interact with the uh, scan itself. You can see down here there is the sphere underneath the coffee table, and there's also the one over here by the couch. While the spheres don't actually touch, um, they do enter the area of the scan, so it's much harder to remove those. You can't just simply do uh, six plain cuts and get rid of those spheres. You actually have to go in individually and remove them. Not too much of a hassle, but something to take into consideration when you're using the unlicensed version. Another thing that you can keep in mind is that Reconstruct Me does not automatically make a mesh water tight. So you notice that down here, um, underneath the couch, any area in which Reconstruct Me didn't completely scan, there's not going to be uh, any data there. So instead of doing any post-processing with the scan, there is no option to make it watertight. So you will have to do that kind of editing yourself once you've saved the scan. But overall, the scan of the room, it looks really nice. Um, it is a little pixelated. Uh, you can see the individual faces. It's not too high of resolution, but it doesn't look half bad, especially when scanning an entire room. You can see here it got the uh, the umbrellas on the coffee table, mostly. Um, it didn't get the handles or the shaft, but the umbrella part's there. Um, and the couches look really good. You can tell that there was a pillow on the couch and um, a blanket also on the couch and you can see the duffel bag uh, however it's not a perfect scan you can see that there's legs missing on the coffee table um, and there are some other holes and flaws within the scan itself so if you wanted to work with this scan it would take some time in order to clean this up post-processing overall reconstruct me is not half bad it does a decent job when you're scanning a person or even scanning a whole room. And if you can deal with the watermarks, then the free version works just fine. If you want to use it commercially, that'll cost you about 180 euros. So that's something to keep in mind if you're wanting to use this for something other than your own personal use. So I'd give it a try. Download Reconstruct Me, plug in your Xbox Connect, and see what awesome scans you can do. And thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked the video, and subscribe for some more awesome stuff coming your way. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.